Evening. Welcome to another evening with Norfolk Angling Club. Bank Holiday Monday. You must think we don't fish anywhere else but Kellin, but uh, because it's Bank Holiday, um, it's the easiest beach for us to fish, really. There's no pleasure anglers down here, really, and there's uh, hardly any dog walkers, so it's very convenient to have a little match. Um, slightly reduced turnout tonight because of the Bass Festival over the weekend. A lot of us were in that and also it is bank holiday monday so we got a few people away but nonetheless i think we've still got 23 booked in to fish and they're just starting to arrive now we're fishing the flooding tide right up to the top so hopefully there'll be a few smooth hounds maybe a bass or two and a few other bits and pieces but time will tell Next to my jinx there again. We were just talking about it, I drew the peg next to you. You can't make that up, can you? Yeah. One of these days I'll be going to say that. Let's have the news then, Roger. One off Which the top, one, one off, off the, the top. top. What you got? Four. That's no good, is it? Yeah, next to Dave Sycamore. All right, I like him. No um, problem. Well, you get four. Yeah. And Andrew Turk on the other side. Right, drawn peg four, which is not my peg of choice. This is the same one I was on with my dad in the last club match video. Sees absolutely flat calm. But when it gets dark, anything can happen. And there have been some smooth hounds and bass caught very recently, like yesterday. So hopefully it'll be all right. David Sicklemore to my left and past him is Mike and Jack Topping. So they're good on this beach. So they'll, uh, they'll no doubt catch what's there. And directly on my right, Andy Turk. So. Hopefully he'll come to me with a few fish at some point during the night. Bait wise, I've got some blow lug, some frozen peeler crab in case the smooth hounds turn up. And I have also got some yellow tails, which were given to me at the end of the bass festival by Ian Bell. So they'll be going on in the hope of a bass. So absolutely beautiful evening. We're fishing till half past 10 as usual, but I will have to put the shelter up. I think we are forecast rain. So that'll make things a little bit more comfortable. Rig choice, three hook flapper, and I'm gonna bait that up with a mixture of the baits I showed you. Simple as that. There's John Spalton down the bottom. Gus the dog is three pegs away. We well, should be, but he's motored over here, so. He's sitting on the top of the bank, chilling out. Yeah. About 25 minutes till we start, so have something to eat. Cup of coffee, bait the rigs up. I'll bring you back. Right, I've had a wander along to the next peg because I've got a few minutes till kick off and that's the sort of thing I do. So Andy Turk, you've met him before. Last time uh, I spoke to him, I jinxed him. But what's the tactic? What's the tactics tonight? Well, fresh hermit. Yep. Two at fully. Two at flapper. Size ones. Fully rig on the on the rod already. Yep. Big fish attack. Big fish attack for a change. <laughs> yeah, no. I think that's the way to go, isn't it? Well, I think that's the way. That's gonna win it. So try the same tactics yeah yeah that's what i'm doing anyway it's a bit more chilled out than yes. scratching around for all the bits and pieces and half of them wouldn't count anyway because we um because yep. of the size limits but Absolutely. and the smooth uh, hounds are here aren't they so got to try and catch one judging by the weekend's results yes yeah so i don't I, I mean my honest opinion is there'll be more fish down by the wreck but you know who knows yeah well we're a long stretch aren't we 22 anglers it's best part of the what, third of a mile, half a mile. Yeah. So, yeah. Anything can happen. Anything can happen. Especially on this beach, which is very tricky. Yeah. Well, let's hope we're in the right spot. Yeah. 
and on the next peg we have David Sycamore from East Angling YouTube channel. So, do you mind me um, interrupting you, David, and asking no. you what the tactics are tonight? Sure, but, sorry, not sure, but, uh, I'm just going to do my usual casual laid back approach. I've got a little bit better bait tonight, I've got a few crabs left over from yesterday. So, I'm basically going to go for a few dogfish, maybe a hound for the first part. See what happens. If it all starts going wrong, I'll get the flat gear out and have a little bit of fun with that. But yeah. Yeah, dogfish I think on smooth downs tonight if they're here. Yeah, and traces look pretty similar to yeah, mine. Two, two hook clip downs. Oh, are they? Most, yeah, just to keep it a bit tighter, but I don't even think they're going to have to cast out this far tonight. No. Fixed ball tonight as well. Yeah, What's gone wrong with you? Well, no, it's just a little bit easier. Fixed ball, less to worry about, and I'll concentrate on my fishing a bit more. Fair enough. So, yeah. Just watch Gus the dog eat all your bait at, when it gets dark. That's a... That's what you got to do, isn't it? Keep an eye on him. Yeah. Right, it's about time we um, bumped into uh, Jack and Mike Topping. Never seem to get pegged close to them, but see what they're doing. But they are both top quality anglers, there's no doubt about it. <laughs> uh, you're too modest, Jack. What's the tactic tonight, Mike? Uh, big baits. Crab. After the weekend we just had, big baits. Yeah. Try and pick up a nice bass or a uh, big smooth end. What about you, Jack? You gonna beat your old man? Once a while, mate. Well, yeah. I'm yes. hoping to catch a nice bass. Well. I never got a big bass this weekend, but tonight might be the thing. Yeah. They and are here, aren't they? I think your dad's gonna whip you. No. <laughs> he won't we'll, do that to me. we'll see. <laughs> I'll leave Mike alone in a minute, but he's just gonna show you what he's up to. So, what's it? One up, one down. One up, one down. The bottom one, the panel. Yeah, yeah, makes sense. It allowed three hooks, so yep. two big baits. Bottom bait is big bait for the three. Yeah, yeah. Is that loop rig then? Yeah, I suppose. Nope, no, that one. That clips onto that one. Yeah, and they both fold up. Oh right, there. I see. Yeah, and that never tangle. No, that's yeah, worth knowing. The only time that'll tangle is when you get fish on this one, and the big two fish will go up and yeah, swim wrap together. each other up. Yeah. I hope you get an eel then. <laughs> That'll mess you up. <laughs> See you in a bit. First cast has been in the water about 10 minutes and rod tips not moved. All very um, calm and sedate along the beach. Haven't seen anything happen yet. But I'm sure that'll change when it gets dark. Someone will get something, I'm sure. But with that big match over the last weekend, the last two days rather sometimes it can um, the pressure on a beach can force it to slow down so I'm not saying that's the reason why but it might might affect it hopefully the fish will come on shortly first cast on the beach not exactly the intended target but it a dude for a start and that's a decent white in so I bet that's about 30 centimeters something like that so it'll get me on the card and it's a start. Yep, straight back out there. A little further this time. I've just got to keep moving it around until I find something I want to catch, which will be a bass or a smooth hound. Let's hope. That's been a bit slow. Very patchy dabs. Small dabs. What you got, David? A small dab on a big hook and a big bait. 24. Oh, it's a nice clean fish. Yeah. Yeah. I'd say you're in line for the biggest flat fish of the night. <laughs> What's Mike got down there, anything? We'll see him pull it up the beach. He does really well on the smooth on front, so uh, I'm hoping he's going to get one before it gets dark because it's easier to film. But uh, fishing's never as easy and cut and dried as that. No, not that time, Mike. I right. I think there'll be some better ones after dark. Yeah, probably. Hopefully. Bit of tide, isn't there? Yeah. I'll get you signed in. 
Well, at the moment, up this end of the beach, we're all struggling. We're getting dabs, but they're no size. David next door, he's got two on the card at 24 centimetres. But uh, we've got to do better than that. And the worrying thing is, when there's not a dab on it, the bait's being stripped by crabs. And normally along here, when the smooth hounds are in, the crabs are nowhere to be seen. So let's just see what Mike reels up the beach. He's looking on with intent. He's gone a long way out. This might be the first sighting of a decent fish. See what he brings up the beach. He looked like he had a lot more weight on than he has now, but unless he's swimming towards him. Let's see what comes up. A dab and a lump of seaweed. But sometimes it can feel a lot heavier than it is if you've got a crab hanging on there as well. They drop off on the way in. And then it all goes light and you end up with a little fish, which looks like what well, that's just happened to him. But just about, well, about half an hour until it's dark. And I have to report, as far as I can see, pretty dire. To be honest with you, one white in for me and four undersized dabs. And the peeler crabs, are, well, they're not peeler crabs, they're softback crabs and frozen peeler. They're um, just getting stripped out by other crabs on the deck. So at the moment, it's not looking good. Right, well, the fishing is hard, especially up this end of the beach. Don't know about the other end, but triple shot of dabs. And I bet not one of them's big enough. They've got to be 23, and I bet they're all just under. But David's got three fish on the card, but you only need a smooth hound or a bass or something, and it's getting dark, and that'll, and that'll put everything right. So we keep trying. Right, it's nine o'clock. So it means we've got an hour and a half left. And all I've done is caught undersized dabs, apart from that one whiting. So apologies, but I don't know what else I could do. I've tried every distance, yellowtails, blow lug, crab, and um, just undersized dabs and getting stripped by crabs. So hard work. The colour from the Bass Festival that was in the sea is, is slowly disappearing. So I suppose the May weed will be the next thing. But um, yeah, as it gets dark, I'm just now hoping for that one decent fish. I'm sticking on the free hook flapper because I don't wanna, I don't wanna destroy my chances by getting the pin white in on one hook and nothing on the other and all that sort of stuff. So I'm sort of edging my bets a bit, but I'm sticking with crab on a, on the bottom hook and hoping I can get a smooth hound or a codlin or a bass on that and worms on the other one. Don't really know what else I can do. I've tried right in close and there's nothing in there. The only fish I'm really getting are sort of about 60 to 70 yards but they're only little dabs so nothing to write home about unfortunately and all around me desperation is setting in because they've started lobbing in about 10 yards out and all that sort of stuff so it's no better but then the wreck is um 20 pegs away or 18 pegs away so it could be totally different down that end you'll know when we get in the car park anyway but hour and a half yet so we've got to try and catch a smooth on well i've had loads of dabs tonight but this is the first one, the sizeable. And he, he himself is only 23 centimetres. But nice clean fish. So I even tried a panel rig and whacked it out as far as I could, but to no avail. So we just keep plodding on with this and see if we can find a couple of better ones in the last hour. That's all I can do, I think. Never mind, it's nice and warm. That's something, and it's not raining. 
so that's good you won't believe it but i'm actually quite pleased to see that 28 centimeter whiting because that's been a grueler so far get him in the water get him unhooked go and get him measured at least it's not an 18 centimeter dab well on a night where fish have been hard to come by that is a 23 centimeter dab i don't know why it's not fish that normally does well over the top of the tide but it hasn't i've had a little white in since i last saw you and another dab but all in all very disappointing at this end of the beach a couple of casts left and then uh, and then that'll be it right match is at an end and i have managed to scratch out 86 points consisting of three dabs and three whiting let's just hope it fish better at the wreck end but we'll go up in the car park and find out Right, are we all here? <laughs> Who's not here? You in? Put your hands up if you're not here. A spot up here somewhere. Right. Top five. Yeah, but first, no blanks. Whee. So still, huh? <laughs> right. Top top five. In fifth place with eight fish and 122, me. Well done, Tom. More, more, more. Oh, no, no, no. There's not enough people. And sadly, in fourth position, but only just, Kev, Mr. and he's laughing, Kev Green, <laughs> eight fish with 125. Well done, Kev. No, not very good. I'm not happy. And you Stewart's inquiry. And you weren't even second next to Dwayne. <laughs> In third position, uh, Leon, 10 fish, 145. What well a Leon. Uh, Leon. In second position, returning to the to the match after months of illness and recuperation, John Gent. Well on John. 11 fish, 158. God knows where he found 11 fish. Well done. <laughs> and in first place, with six fish, 183. Dwayne Lockwood. Well done, Dwayne. Three times and you have to keep Smile for the camera, smile for the camera. Away for two weeks. Nice yeah. one, Dwayne. Nice one, cheers, boys. Well done. Right. Well, we've got Dwayne here. Dwayne. Dwayne. What's that? His biggest round, 62 centimetre dog. Well done, Dwayne. There you go, mate. Well done. What's that? Good fish, that. And biggest flat. Shared 28 centimetre dab, Dwayne and myself. Yay. I'm sorry, Dwayne. No, <laughs> <stop. laughs> Dwayne TV, yeah, this well, is mate. now. Yeah. No, 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 I've got my half already. Look, Good man. Well done. My biggest half. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Thank you. Well done, mate. Right. Don't go too far. Lucky pig. <laughs> no, we're right taking the middle. That one. Twenty whatever it is. Dave Matthews. There you go. Dave Matthews. Right. He's making great fish. Yeah, he wants his money. Well done, Dave. Thank you. Well done. Right. Next week. Great Yama South. High time.